Hello, and welcome to Game Night with Shade Warp. Today, we're going to play some RimWorld. Uh, I just got this, and let's randomize a seed for a new world. There we go. Alcade Septimus. That's great. We have some pirate band. Save this. Now, RimWorld is um, this 2D uh, indie game, and you create a colon where you crash land on a RimWorld. First, you choose which uh, storyteller you want to have sending uh, disasters and locusts and diseases and pirates at you um, Randy random I've heard about this but this uh, it's all drama to this guy so yeah we could we could do Randy random I'm well he doesn't fo follow any rules I I think we'll go with uh, Cassandra Classic in rough. Hey, let me move that. It's about 60% of what challenge is. I'm not that good at the game yet, but I'm, I'm getting there. Uh, where do we want to start? So you can see what the places you've picked so this is rainforest has a lot of rain and you can grow outside all year round I'm not sure rainforest is temperate forest arid shrubland thinking maybe maybe a bit of a challenge with the weather yeah Some mountains and in the tundra. Let's see, what do we have? Oh, here we go. So in January it will be almost minus 30 degrees. But that means we can make some parkas and stuff. Almost no rain. Maybe if we took and we won't have that much wood either so it's good with some mountains then we can dig in and get some get some dungeon crawling going um, then you create your three characters and I I've actually added a mod where you can prepare carefully you can use points to buy exactly what you want but I tried that and I'm not too fond of it um, I actually like the the random factor of uh, of the game uh, you can pick as many times uh, random as you want Ooh. see then they get incapable of uh, this guy is incapable of being intellectual that means research and artistic that means artisticness he can't craft sculptures whatever uh, but I just noticed he is warm skinned where where are my tooltips warm skin makes him uh, more comfortable in cold weather or her she's a her she 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 um, construction, growing, mining, shooting, good. She has a burning passion for shooting, which means she will learn faster. Mining as well. She can construct, and she can do some crafting. She's actually pretty good. Then we, uh, that was Ala. Ala Tapia. The Commissar. They have a background story as well. 
really hard. Okay. Um, this guy. He's neurotic. I don't like that. Oh. Wow. Well, he's nervous. Incapable of scary. Being scary. Frightened child. But a deep space miner. He has some really, really nice mining stats. Good medicine. Good cooking. Though he has, hasn't got a passion for it, but it's okay. And just being social. Always a good thing. Though he's a bit jumpy. Yeah, we'll take Batad the miner. Sev Batad. And we have a scientist. Psychic, psychically, physically, hmm. and bloodlust. I wish I could see the. I think that's because of this mod. Should remove that aura. Um, there's medicine. We have two then. Research. My research. Growing and mining. I think I would want someone who can research, um, but also grow. Let's randomize. Research nine growing nine. Twelve. No growing. Crafting fourteen. But he's cool skinned. It's physically dull. Uh, shooting social growing. No, no. Too smart. He learns fast, artistic, social. He could be our warden for capturing prisoners, convincing them to, to join our colony. Let's see, but growing young, yeah, it doesn't matter. Let's go with this guy, Kuma Chan. Can't construct for any real, but he has good shooting, good social, social, and yeah. Benjamin Cooper, also called Ben. And Batad and Allah. Yep, these are our guys. Let's get going. So we will start out crash landing on the planet. As I said. And uh, then we'll see what happens. So apparently my recording device uh, chose to drop. Um, yeah, we just dropped on to the rim world. And I only got to put my pawns at work, my colonists, Ben, Batad, and Allah. Allah. I've made a stockpile for stuff that they are currently hauling. Steel, silver, package survival meat. Uh, meals and I found some more over here and some more down here so we're gonna place our main base here in this room we need to be a bit careful not to shoot this one uh, or it will open and sometimes really badass people come out um, so we want to get a prison bed before really doing something with this I'll go from here 
into the mountain. See, we have quite the room. Uh, we're pretty safe from this spot. Uh, from enemies coming from west and actually also they have a pretty far away to go when if they come from there it's very good so we have this open area here where we can do our thing make a good defense we have a little guard tower over here pretty cool so First, for first things first, we need to uh, take this slate wall and deconstruct, place a door instead. But first, uh, they will be hauling. You can turn up the speed over here, and this is uh, a mod I've installed as well. I'll put the link in the description. And we will put in a steel door as our main main door. There we go. As we already cleaned this, she can just pop in a door. There we go. And next up we will Get some mining done. So I need to claim this claim. I can just claim all of it. Doesn't take any any doing other than me pushing a button unless I want to deconstruct it. But it's pretty cool to have slate walls. For the first interior. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, there we go. Don't know why that was already claimed. All right. So we can put in another door. Another steel door. Yep. Why not? And we'll do. From my experience, the best size of room is uh, six. Let's see, six across. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll actually do seven, and then one, two, three, four. Five. I can have there. No, we'll do. We'll do like that. This is just a planning tool, um, so you can easily plan out what you want to do. Two, three, six, six. So I want to give all my colonists a uh, private room six and then six and then another like that How we roll and up here, we go there. Mine this. Mine 
should go six, actually. Six by six. I think I said that. We go. So three rooms for my my buddies, and this will be the kitchen <laughs> with the sarcophagi guy quick to sleep casket in. It's okay. Ella, she's working real hard. And Patad? No. Just did the... The roof. Getting some doors in. I'll take a look at these a bit later. Right now it's fine. Uh, they will be based on their highest quality. Um, Usually that works out to begin with. So this is a uh, growing so and Ella will start planting some potato because we need we really need to get growing from the get-go um, Otherwise we'll miss out on on food And we need food We have the nutrient paste and we will end up using this so I think yeah we'll just wait a bit with that put in some a butcher table and a cook stove then we need some power um, I tend to go with the wind turbine at least to begin with this is actually a pretty decent spot for it as well yeah let's go let's go with that one so we we are actually pretty lucky because we have four nine ten and eight and eight and eight so we have 26 survival meals that will last us quite a bit and we'll put in I'll try to keep it as neat as possible I I like that and I know a lot of other people do too um, bum, bum, bum. See, I can't go through the mountain. It needs to be a wall. I'll just replace this one as well. Now is actually might be the time to get because I really need you to mine. And and she is the grower. This guy will haul the surgeon. Don't need all the rest right now. Just really need this to go smooth. Get some time. Night haul and furniture. Need some sleeping spots. One there. One. One can sleep. Alone, this one there, and this one there. Yeah, they all eat off the floor. Just, just to start out with, and put in one wall there. Oh, actually, we have, we do have uh, one slate. What? Did I just? You idiot! Cancel that. There we go. Yeah. <sighs> Sometimes. And we'll go sleep blocks. There we go. 
And you can see their thoughts ate off the ground, slept on the ground, sharing a bedroom. They really don't like that. So that's why I'm doing this and making a large room for them. Um, they'll get a bonus to their mood as well. So yeah. But it's okay. The new colony optimism lasts for nine days. Which gives you time before <laughs> they break down. Uh, can we see? Yeah, now I can see it. The nervous trait is oh, only plus eight. Still don't know what scary does. And one skin, she can, she can stay outside quite quite a long time. Still minus eight degrees, and it it gets down to. <coughs> Minus, what was it, about 30? So yeah, this is going to be the first of, hopefully, a lot of uh, game nights. The reason why it's game night is because I have a family and uh, I study and stuff like that. So I'll be gaming mostly at night. Sleeping again? Come on. Gotta work. It's good. I'm getting most of this stuff down here. Let's just hope Cassandra's nice and, and won't throw a blight at us. That would be so bad in the tundra. So yeah, it's... Uh, 12 degrees outside, you can see down in your right hand corner, and indoors at about 11. There we go. Okay, let's get this one deconstructed and this one deconstructed. We'll go place some real beds. Uh, Pop them down there and there for easy, fast access. And I'll just place the. It's in my place. I didn't. Good. Now we'll call it a day. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time in Rimworld. Take care. Bye.